everybody welcome back to uh, Sibelius 7 classes here at educator.com viewing options and magnetic layout in this lesson we will learn about all of our viewing options in Sibelius 7 under our view tab we also talk about another feature that software provides us called magnetic layout and how it functions when it's on as opposed to when it's off we, we are at the home tab right now under the home tab we need to go to the view tab we can click on the view tab as you know or we could use the key tips which is control on Mac alt on PC control and then it gives me the letter V and we are in the view tab we can escape all that out and this is another way to get to it as you know first uh, group we're going to talk about is on the left called document view under the view tab as you can see the group document view and in the document view there are two options called spreads horizontally and page horizontally it applies for the vertically option also at this point it's not going to make a huge difference because my uh, score is very uh, little it's just a 10 bar song with a simple repeat so it won't make any difference However, if you have any kind of charts and if you want to see what they are, you can simply go any kind of looks like spreads horizontally or vertically and you can just read uh, the explanation and in any chart that you have in a full page or anything, a couple of pages or more, more than two pages, you will see the difference of how it's going to lay out on your screen with one of these options next one we will talk about is panorama view panorama view displays your score as a single continuous system on a white page panorama view will not give an exact or proper size of your score that you would like to print out if you make any formatting changes or layout may affect the look of your score because of this reason it's not highly recommended to make these changes on panorama view however you could input notes and edit in panorama view shortcut to panorama view is shift p on both systems you can definitely choose a note edit raise above or bring it down and you can edit your notes you can even do the note entry those kind of edit things but if you're making any kind of layout changes formatting changes it's not too recommended the way it affects your charts going to be not desired way so just something to keep in your mind let's escape out since this note is selected and then uh, we can just uh, get out of the panorama view right here there may be an occasion that you may want to use the panorama view it's just a cool function to have and the same button also we have down here for the panorama view just to let you know and all your document other document views also is down here spreads horizontally right next to it is spreads vertically and then um, single page horizontally and vertically so all this document venue could be also found in the in the bottom of your page while you're working with your scores in Sibelius 7. Next thing we're going to talk about it's kind of important called page margins. Again under the view tab we can turn on and turn off the page margins. Page margins indicates the printable view of your scores. Basically everything is out of the page margins lines will not be printed on the paper so it is kind of important to keep it on maybe uh, let's just click on the page margins and you can see on my score right here the entire score let's zoom in a little bit I mean zoom out to see the whole thing you see my cop copyright information title everything in this little chart if you remember command one will bring it to bring back to the hundred percent again everything is in page margins however if I check that out and if this information for instance was a little more slightly on the left side let's turn the page margins on as you can see 
it's cutting the very first word of the information regarding the groove of the song and tempo information it's going to leave some out so we can command z this one to bring it in and if you want you can keep it on your page margins it's displays the dash blue rectangle to show where the page margins are and we already know what it's uh, used for you can click in the back to get out of that uh, selected um, selected area which was right here page margins and another thing here is the bar numbers which are not checked at the moment but if you check the bar bar numbers you can view uh, for each bar you're getting a number we talked about our zoom controls in a